Welcome back, Storm fans. Brent Cook here, and today we have a very sweet donation deck from our friend Garrett. Garrett, thank you once again. This is the second time that Garrett has submitted this deck. This is Goblin Welder Bolasa Citadel Storm Combo, featuring a brand new card from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Once again, I am talking about Experimental Synthesizer. If you didn't check out the video that I uploaded recently where I went 5-0 with this card on Popper, this card is the real deal, I promise you. So it's a one mana red artifact that says when it enters or leaves the battlefield, you may exile the top card of your library and you may play that card until end of turn. Then it has a clause where you could sacrifice it for two and a red for a 2-2 samurai token with vigilance and you can only use that as a sorcery. So this card is pretty amazing with Goblin Welder because whenever it enters or leaves, you get to create card advantage. It's also an artifact for Mox Opal, which is pretty huge and it clears the top of your library for Bolasa Citadel. It pretty much does it all in this deck, and I'm really looking forward to playing it here today. Um, and then we've simplified the deck a little bit. So the last time we played this, it was more colors. Today we are pure Grixis. No show and tell. The show and tells felt a little bit uncomfortable in the last build because there was some tension on whether or not you wanted to put cards to the graveyard or hold them in hand. And it was just a little bit weird. So today, really, the only blue cards we're playing are Chain of Vapor and Echo of Aeons. Echo was a card I wanted in that last build. We had double Bolas to Citadel previously, and revealing Citadel to Citadel just happened way too frequently. And at least with having an Echo of Aeons, you have a good target for your Entomb. It's not the same card. Uh, it works well with Faithless Looting. There's just a lot of benefits to playing Echo of Aeons. You're allowed to mulligan aggressively. I really do feel like it will shape up this deck list. So... Those are the big things. If you have any questions on this deck list, feel free to ask, but I'm just going to hop on in. We've already uploaded this deck list one time, and Garrett, thank you. And if you're unfamiliar, Garrett is Dragon Day Dragon, a wonderful supporter of this channel. Be like Garrett, submit a donation deck, all that good stuff. But for now, let's hop right on in to match number one. I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Alright, welcome to match number 1, we are on the play. And here we have Double Thought Seize Synthesizer. I think I'm going to keep this, but this is looking more like an Echo hand than anything else. And one of the cool things about Thought Seize in this deck list is, in theory, you can Burning Wish for Echo and then Thought Seize yourself. I don't know if that's the line we'll take here, but it's certainly an option. All right, Badlands, tap it and cast that Thought Seize. Okay, so we're facing some sort of blue-white control strategy, and they've opened up double force. Pretty solid. And we're just going to take the force of negation for now. Okay. They're playing the new swords to plowshares. 
the uh, I forget what these are called. There's so many weird names, inventions, masterpieces. I, for some reason, I can't remember the name out of uh, that set. Draw. It's early in the morning here. It's 9 a.m. and I'm trying to record a donation doc. Uh, so we've drawn Wishclaw Talisman. I'm going to play the Synthesizer here to see if we can hit another piece of mana. So okay, I'm going to auto yield to this. Goblin Welder. Okay, so I think I'm going to play the... Uh, actually, no. We know that they have Swords of the Plowshare, so this was just a Wasted Storm. Um... Well, I guess in theory I could thought seize the swords and then play Walder. I don't think I even like that. I'm just gonna pass the turn here. All right, so no land two. They've played the island and they're passing the turn. Draw. We hit the land. Okay, that was pretty good. We're gonna get the basic swamp here because I don't want to open myself up to back to basics. I'm just going to play Wishclaw Talisman. If it gets forced, sweet. Like, I don't really care about this. It's on the stack. And it resolves. Okay, pass the turn. We know four of their six cards. Using Flooded Strand. Is this going to be an Ice Fang Quaddle? It will not be. Dress Down? Sure. Cycling Dress Down. Okay, and they've played the forest. We only know about force and it starts to plowshares at this point. Green, white. Is this a prismatic ending? It looks like it is. And it is. So prismatic ending is exiled our wishclaw talisman. Draw. Looting. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to thought seize them because you have to clear this force of will. And then burning wish for Echo, and then eventually try to Faithless Looting it away. So they're going to Brainstorm and hide it. That's unfortunate. One of the downsides of Discard Spells. Okay, so Thoughtseize. And they just have it all. Okay, so we're going to take a Force here. I think I just have to play it slow. So they put a, a swords on top. Let's see what they do here. So we know that uh, swords is still their top card. They've played Jace. Last turn they had the decision between playing ending or playing Uro as a 6-6 six, six, and they chose end. Draw. Another Burning Wish. Let's see if they'll force this. Burning Wish is on the stack. And it resolves. Woot woot. Go get that echo. Pass the turn. Alright, Jace is being activated again. Alright, and they found the fetch line, so we can safely cross off that sword to plow shares. That's going to be gone. Opal, that's a decent draw. Looting. Force negation. Ah, oh, hole breacher. Damn, we just got got. Goodbye, Echo, and goodbye, Lotus Petal. So we can play Mox Opal as just a permanent mana source here. But I think we're just dead. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time. Let's just go to game number two. They have a force for this Burning Wish anyway. So that hurt. Okay, so I think we can board out Goblin Welder here because we saw the Swords to Plow shares. They also have Endings. We don't really want to play into their tricks. So we're going to board in at least two copies of Galvanic Relay. I think you could also argue that you probably want the additional copy of Thoughtseize. And let's board in a Wing Condition so we don't lose to Surgical. Probably the Grape Shot because we saw green out of them. Plus it's only two mana to reveal the Citadel. And submit this. All right, game number two, and we're on the play. Another chance at this. And here we have an explosive burning wish start. It's a little bit awkward because I don't have the thought season the board, but I guess we probably wouldn't have the time or mana to get it anyway. I wonder here if I'm just supposed to try to cheese them with an empty the warrens. We did see force and negation. 
game one. So they're at least 50% to have a force in their opening hand. I just don't know how I feel about this. I'm probably just running my head into a force here. Dark Ritual. The Lotus Petal. I don't love all these long pauses, so we're probably getting force. Sacrifice for red. Yes, yeah, Burning Wish and add some red. Get forced and go to round number two. Ooh, it resolved. Well, how about that? Ten goblins on the play. What up? These are the wrong goblin tokens. I don't like it. They should be the 10th edition goblin. I'm very angry that they changed it to this trash goblin. Nothing against Carl, whatever their name is. But they should be the Dave Kendall goblins. Tundra. Hydroblast buys them a turn. Draw. Lion's Eye Diamond. Get in there. Misty Rainforest, okay. So when I attack, they will go to one. Assuming they don't have a blocker here. They do. Okay, so they'll go to two life. Get in there. Uro will not save them at the moment. And that is the game. So we are going to game number three. Woot woot. The odds were in our favor for once. Uh, I think we're, our, we're already set up to do our thing. I th We're just supposed to resubmit, I think. There's a bunch of really sweet synergies with this deck. Like you can entomb for defense grid with the Goblin Balder in play for protection. And Tomb for Echo is also really nice. You don't always have to get Citadel. There's just a lot of play to this, and I think that's one of the most more fun things about this deck list. All right, our opponent's taking a mulligan. Here we have Entomb for Citadel into Trash for Treasure. I think I'm going to keep this. Like It's a little bit risky because we don't have another artifact for this Mox Opal, but I think it's fine. Opponent's on six cards. Ponder. Okay, draw, burning wish. I think I'm just going to lead on Faithless Looting here. So you could imprint to keep the blue open, but I don't think you're really gaining anything by doing that. We found our black source. So I think I could actually turn one Citadel here if our opponent doesn't have anything. Um, question is, do we want to do that? Probably. We're going to go for the turn one Citadel. Mox Opal. Throw Mox. They did not shuffle off the Ponder. Dark Ritual. And Tomb. Alright, so let's get that Citadel. Sacrifice the Petal for Red. Sacrifice the Chrome Mox to the Trash for Treasure and pray that this resolves. I feel like they have it this time with that pause. So we lose the Surgical or any of the Blue Forces here. And they have a Force. Alright, so we threw away our entire hand for that play. They had the Force. It happens. And uh, I think we're just done at this point, but I'll continue to uh, try to fight back. So this Entomb, if we draw a Black Source, can go get Echo of Aeons. They are the Hull Breacher deck, so Echo isn't a guarantee, plus it has to resolve. We just didn't draw any protection spells this match. Well, I guess that's not true. I drew Double Thought Season Game 1. In any of the post board games. Breacher? Damn. Alright, so we're just dead. We only have, I guess I could draw another Trash or Treasure or something, but. Or Welder. Oh no, Welder's in our sideboard. Yeah, it's not looking good. Play the Claw. Okay. I'm going to send three cards. Draw. So we can cast another Trash or Treasure here. 
Uh, sacrifice this for red. Activate Wish Claw. Go get that trash. And hope that it converts into treasure. Come on, let it resolve. Okay. Come on, trash for treasure. Come on, trash for treasure. They had it the whole time. They were just playing with my heart. All right, I'm going to concede here. We're done. Zero and one. Wump wump. But we got to do some sweet things that round. And we got to showcase a little bit of how this deck can come back, despite our opponent having Hydro Blast. I'll see you in match number two. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. All right, match number two, and we're on the play again. Spin that wheel. This is an Echo of Vans hand. Let's do it. Opponent takes a mulligan to six. Okay, so let's play this Meyer Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. I'm going to be lazy and uh, entomb before I play Chromox here so I don't have to click on the imprint trigger. Entomb. Go grab that Echo. Chromox. All right, and then sacrifice this for blue and black. Let's spin that wheel. Three mana floating storm seven. No, why are all of our opponents like up to no good, no fun jerks? That's what these people are. Come on. Narsets and force negations. Get out of here. Your parents don't like you either. Come on. There's the thought sees. We still have another force. Take the Narset. Maybe I'm supposed to take the force there. I don't know. We've already used the main deck echo. They removed the chrome box? That makes no sense. No sense at all. They have three cards in here. We know one of them is Force of Will. We drew the Citadel. All right, a little bit awkward here. We, we'd have to draw a Dark Ritual plus another Mana Source to hard cast it. All right, Teferi. They chose not to hold the blue card. So we theoretically have a window to do something here because there it is. I think we just have to jam. And they're up six. So the question is, do I empty for eight or do we echo? Ooh, I can, um, here's a cool one. We're going to treasure treasure the Citadel out of the sideboard. Um, sacrificing this Lotus Petal. That is the best line. Double force, you jerk. Hey, hey. All right, so we're going to cast this with the trigger on the stack. And it's going to exile a land, which is nice, so I don't mind that. So we can play this Delta later. Let's Thought Seize the Force away. Double Swords, that's what you get. Mox Opal, Lion's Eye Diamond. So we can even use this Diamond to clear the top of our deck with the Synthesizer. Um, this looting is just mill too. Oh, I can't cast this because of the Teferi. I've been holding priority on all the things, but it just doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to add a red here with this opal, play the next opal. And I'm forced to cast this in Tomb. Uh, I guess I get a looting because it allows me to mill to keep going. Cast Dark Ritual. I guess I can trash or treasure away the synthesizer. 
get back another diamond. Back the synth. Okay, so it's gonna exile the entomb that we don't really care about. And there's Wishclaw, that's good. That's going to win this game. Claw. Petal. Play the Delta because we can. Play this Curl Mox. I'm not going to show them Goblin Balder. All right. Tap this. Sacrifice Diamond. Burning Wish. Well, we're going to Wish Claw for Burning Wish. Cast it. Get the chicken tendrils or chicken tendies as the kids call them. I don't know. I'm just saying words at this point. And uh, end the game. I feel like we were pretty lucky to win this one. But what's with all these people and their double forces? I'm sick of it. I'm only three games into this or four games into this league and I'm not loving it. Got a little bit lucky there. All right, so Thoughtseize can come in. We want these relays, probably the Tendrils, and then board out the Goblin Welders. Or maybe I could keep the Welder. Helps beat Blue Decks if they don't know about it. What do we board out then? Probably don't board in the Tendrils, don't board in the Thoughtseize, and then just find two cards for the relays. Maybe Shave a Looting and one in Tomb. So this makes looting a burning wish target, which is kind of nice. Okay, second game. And here we have a little bit of a, an odd hand. This Chromox doesn't have a whole lot that it can imprint onto it. Uh, because Wishclaw Talisman is an artifact and Chromox specifies non-artifact. Uh, back in the era in which this was printed, artifacts were not colors. So a little bit weird. We just have to get rid of this. Yeah, ship it. I don't know what to do here. Um, I think we bottom Burning Wish and pray to draw a land. All right, turn one island. Now I look like a fool for bottoming a red card. I'm just going to pass the turn. I would have loved to play turn one welder there. Right, island draw dark ritual. I feel like I'm forced to play something here. Draw mox. <clears throat> Excuse me. Imprint this in tomb. Dark ritual. Play defense grid. Resolve. Resolve. And they force it. All right, we're just going to jam here. Uh, I feel like it's probably the best thing for us, so that's what I'm going to do. Wish Claw. Let's activate the Wish Claw. Go get that Echo. And play Diamond. And spin that wheel. Storm 8. Come on, this card's been on the stack for like a minute. You either have a counter or you don't. Surgical on my one of defense grid. You got it. Echo of Aeons. Okay. So. I don't know what this actually does. Yeah, I'm like a mana short of doing anything meaningful here. We don't have a main deck tendrils, or else this would be one mana short of lethal, actually. Hmm. So, I could play Wishclaw and activate it for Treasure Treasure, but I don't have the mana to Entomb. I guess I could Relay. Get Volcanic. We did board in Relay. Relay for 14 would be nice. Please Resolve. And it resolved. Yes. Now we get to spin that wheel. Galvanic relay for 14 cards. Woot woot. So there's also a pretty big downside here. 
We are facing a control deck, and our deck does not have Abrupt Decay in it uh, anywhere in the 75, and we did not side in Chain of Vapor. So if our opponent has something like a Deafening Silence to search up with Wish Claw Talisman, it's lights out. Um, that is a deck building decision we made when building. So it is what it is. We only have the two Chain of Vapors, and I don't think you're supposed to board in Chain of Vapor versus a traditional control deck. You're supposed to just sort of win before it's relevant. Um, and here we could get punished. Land number three. And it looks like they're about to pass. Maybe not. Just switching to their second main phase. Reconsidering their life decisions. I don't know. Let's play that thought seize. They have seven cards. You have a breacher. They had force and chose not to play it last turn. Surgical extraction doesn't matter. Yeah, I think we've got it from here. It should be pretty easy peasy. Lines Eye Diamond. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. We'll add a red for this Mox Opal. Play Mox Opal. Okay. Uh, we have Storm 6 and we need to get up to Storm 9. So I can Thought Seize again pretty freely here. If they decide to Surgical, sure. And now it's just good games. Good games, opponent. All right, cast the Burning Wish, and then we can go get our Chicken Tenders. There it is, Tendrils of Agony. Tap the Volcanic Island. And that's game, Storm 10. 10 Tenders. Woot woot. So we overcame the Blue Menace and all of their forces, and we are now 1-1. One and one. We've bounced back. Let's see if we can continue to win and hopefully get paired against some non-blue decks. That would be great. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you in match number three. Thanks for watching thus far. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot, everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, 4 treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the Power and Toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing Modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. All right, match three, we're on the draw. I have no clue what our opponent's playing. I haven't been looking anyone up. But I do love about this hand is that, oh, come on. Uh, we can go turn one Goblin Welder into Entomb for Citadel. And another Goblin Welder. Love it. All right, let's play out a Lotus Petal so we don't lose the days here. Lotus Petal. Welder. Welder resolved. I'm going to play another Welder. We'll get paired against the person playing Fork Bolt. Don't worry about it. All right, so no Lightning Bolt on the end step. Basic planes. Imagine we're going to have a Welder eaten here. One endinged. Okay, so this Welder is about to be not sick. In our upkeep, I'm going to Entomb because I don't want to draw the Citadel. Oh boy. We're getting to live the dream. Alright, um... I, I actually have this Chromox that doesn't do anything, so let's do that. And we're going to swap this Chromox with Boss's Citadel. Ding dong! That's not really a card we want right now. Um, 
So I'm gonna add some black mana here, I think. Add a red. Let's bring back the Lion's Eye Diamond, sacrificing Chrome Mox. And our opponent has conceded the game. Woot woot. Goblin Welder, clearly too strong for the Legacy metagame. You'll love to see it. Um, maybe I messed up round one boarding these out. Who knows? All right, so we probably want the relays again. And I think I like the idea of just skimming on the cards that dump cards to the graveyard. Let's try this out. Okay, so we've opened up a hand of all mana. We're not going to keep that. We need to ship that back. Relay, but no way of using it. Uh, double opal draw, unfortunately. Yay, yay, yay. Um... I mean, I guess we keep this, but I don't see this hand actually winning the game. Using their turn one Scalding Tarn this time for Basic Island Ponder. And they shuffle up with the Ponder. Tomb, okay. So I think I just have to pass here. Draw. Thoughtsy. I don't really know what the plan is here. Dark Ritual. Let's Thought Seize them and then try to maybe resolve Defense Grid. Help Pierce. No, and then Grid. So Grid is resolved. Let's hopefully, let's hope that it sticks around, right? We did see Prismatic Ending in Game 1. Three mana. The fairy. So this grid is being bounced. Womp womp. Draw. Diamond. All right. I'm going to hope to get lucky here, I think. Echo. And then we're just going to spin the wheel. All right. Spin that wheel. It resolved? Wow. Was not expecting that. Um... We just pass the turn here. So something kind of cool about this hand is actually that doesn't work. Never mind. I uh, I was going to say we could discard the Citadel to Lion's Eye Diamond and Trash for Treasure, but it doesn't work like that. You need the target to cast this. Draw. Synth. Okay, well, let's play that. Okay. Ox Opal, sure. And I'm just going to pass the turn here. I don't want to play out a bunch of artifacts when I know that we have two relays in our deck. Blessing to Fairy again. Seven cards in hand, draw. Relay. Sometimes I just impress myself with how well I call all of my shots. You know, it's not easy being this lucky, but sometimes somebody's got to do it, right? So might as well be me. All right, so we're going to imprint this trash for treasure. And let's relay. Unfortunately, we don't have enough mana to play the grid first. Relay for five. Trash for treasure, welder. Burning wish. Petal. Volcanic. Pretty good, pretty good. So next turn we can use Trash or Treasure to target Citadel now because we can discard our hand with the Lion's Eye Diamond and then use the Treasure and Treasure from Exile. All right, so our opponent has played a Narset. We don't actually care about the Narset, so I'm not too worried about that. Prismatic Ending, that's a bummer. So they can hit a Diamond here. Mana is going to be a Choke Point next turn. Oh, do they have another one too? Ah, uh, that's heartbreaking. Draw. Okay, let's play out the pedal. And now I can't discard my hand to the Citadel. Uh, so if I play Grid and it resolves, I could then do it. Because I could Thought Seize myself. Hmm. Might as well play the Grid. Horse Pitch Ponder. Let's 
Thoughtseize. Target them, and then just play the Walder, I think. Force no blue card. So they have three lands in hand. I think they just play the Walder, because I can hard cast Citadel next turn, and then Wald it in if it gets countered. But they're probably just going to bounce the Walder. Meltdown. No! <laughs> oh! Oh! That's heartbreaking. Ah. Oh. Wow. That's a real bummer. What? They didn't cast it? Why? Oh, because they plus. They're doing it in my upkeep. Why would you do it here? I get to play a card off the synth now. That was just not a good choice. Looting? That's actually really good for me because I can put the Citadel to the graveyard now. Uh, let's play looting. Play the welder. All right, so they have to bounce it with Teferi. Yep. Draw. There's our artifact. Welder. We don't want to show them the artifact. Oh, they drew the answer. That's a real bummer. All right, I think we've lost this one cage and they drew the cage so either one of those would have done it there we can go to the next game now ah uh, that game i felt like we were always just a step behind it was so close though um hmm yeah i'm fine resubmitting game three and we were on the play Chromox and prince and tomb into thought seas. Or we could imprint trash for treasure into looting. I feel like that actually might be the play here. All right, so Chrome Mox will imprint trash and play the looting. Hopefully, we draw like Lion's Eye Diamond. That would be our best draw here. Looting. We did not echo. And. Oh, what's the other card? Is it in Tomb? Yeah, I feel like it's probably in Tomb. Because we can cast this looting. Like, the the high risk plays to discard the looting there. And keep the in Tomb in case you draw a black source, but... I don't know. Ponder. Does not shuffle. Draw. Jeez. Alright, let's looting again. Okay, so discard these, I guess. Lotus Petal. Mox Opal, hope that this resolves, and then Thought Seed. Jeez. Alright, so we lost this game. Yikes. All these kids and their double forces. Let's Thought Seize. Yeah, we just have to take the force. Alright, so they tapped out for Ponder. If they don't have a blue source here, we can cast the Echo from the graveyard. And they did. Lion's Eye Diamond, come on. We drew the one card we didn't want to draw there. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, so we can flashback looting, but it's just going to be countered by the Spell Peers. I don't know if I have much of a choice at this point anymore. We just have to hope for some reason that they don't spell Pierce. Flashback looting. Maybe we get lucky and I draw double lines at Diamond. That did not happen. All right, so Entomb and Citadel. So there is some sort of fantasy world here where our opponent taps out for Narset. We draw lines at Diamond and then we can Wishclaw for Trash for Treasure. Narset. Prismatic ending. That hurts. Okay, come on, diamond. I guess they could even spell pierce the diamond if we had drawn it. 
All right, I'm going to concede this one. We've officially lost it. Oh, well, can't beat everything. We are now one and two. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, we're back for the fourth round, and we are on the play. Um, I think we keep this. There should be a turn two Citadel. Assuming that nothing goes wrong, of course. All right, so we're going to use Polluted Delta to go get Badlands. That felt like an F6. I like that. Okay, the Welder is on the battlefield. Underground Sea. Uh-oh, Dark Ritual Doomsday. I don't love that. We had uh, some tough matchups today. We're here playing our fun brew, and our opponents have shown up with machine guns to shoot my head off. I don't love it. I don't love it at all. I'm just out here trying to synthesize and bull off the Citadel people. It's a shame. All right, so it looks like our opponent's in the middle of stacking their pile. And no forces in there. It looks like they're on a two Oracle build. Maybe they just opened up a turn one. I feel like they would usually keep uh, forces in the pile if they were passing the turn. And they are now rearranging their pile. Sure. Or they are passing the turn, okay. Lotus Petal. Played Dark Ritual. Actually, I think I'm short of mana. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm short of mana. That's a bummer. I just realized that. Um, I think I'm supposed to Synthesizer here. Trying to hit a land. Okay. Ah! Damn. Um, I don't know what to do now. Okay, so... I think something I overlooked was we initially had enough mana, but the problem with that is that I had to use the Lotus Petal and then I would have ended up with no artifacts. So I think I'm supposed to get like a Lion's Eye Diamond here. And then play the Diamond. Sacrifice it for red. Weld out the synthesizer or diamond. Yeah, this is a win. Okay, yes. And we had another Burning Wish. Okay, and then play Burning Wish into Tendrils. All right, that was a sweet one. Woot woot. Take that, Doomsday. Yeah. All right. So we want these surgicals. We want to bring in the fourth copy of Thoughtseed. We probably want these relays. 65 cards. That's a lot. I think we cut the synthesizer here. This is not a value matchup. And then maybe one looting and one in tomb. And you might be thinking. Bryant, Surgical isn't very good against Doomsday. I'm aware. I'm not an idiot. I think one of the few ways that we're able to win this matchup is by going Thoughtseize, Surgical, your Doomsday. Uh, because realistically, we got very lucky to win game number one. So I think we have to cheese them in order to win a, a post-board game. Because they're a deck that's running Misdirection, Force of Negation, Force of Will, Thoughtseize, Duress, Mystical Dispute, like realistically we're not going to win the post board game so cheesing them is one of the best ways we could possibly do that all right so we've opened up a hand with no initial mana sources we're definitely going to have to ship this 
feel like I've opened up a lot of sevens uh, so far today without initial mana sources. There's a possibility that this deck needs a little bit more mana in it. Mulligan. All right, we're going to keep bottom of Walder. All right, polluted Delta past the turn. And another thought sees, okay? So let's play out Lotus Petal here. Lotus Petal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like they're going to fetch. This could be a brainstorm to hide something. Yeah, it is. All right, Thoughtseize. We will take the Force of Will and then play Goblin Welder. Can't find that. All right, so let's just draw Citadel right off the top rope. We'll draw the one of. I'm, I've been pretty good at doing that recently. The one of Gristlebrand and Neoform. Earlier, I drew, I believe it was last round, I drew the Citadel one I didn't want to. So let's just try to do uh, that now on purpose. Ponder. They shuffled off the Ponder, okay. Now they're just passing. Draw. That's not terrible. Thought sees. So they need a land to get into their pile. We just have to take the force of negation here. So in theory, I can put Citadel on the stack next turn. Or well, not on the stack, but on the battlefield, I believe. No, that's not true. Uh, I don't have enough mana. So, I believe I can Echo, though. Or maybe I can. No, I can definitely Echo. But I think I'm short on Citadel. So the reason why is I can weld out Lion's Eye Diamond. Or we'll weld out Wishclaw Talisman for Diamond. But I end up short on mana for Citadel. And the reason it doesn't work... Uh, did they really just kill me? Uh, that's a bummer. They played the consider. Um, so they can edge of autumn into a land if they have like a brainstorm in hand or another consider. I'm dead. But the way that it works with Echo of Aeons is I, I sacrifice the Lotus Petal and I uh, tap the Badlands to play Claw. I sacrifice Diamond to activate Wish Claw. With that ability on the stack, I weld out Wish Claw for Diamond. And then I can discard the Echo to the Lion's Eye Diamond that has come back, and I'll have five total mana. Five is not enough to play Citadel, but it's enough to flash back the Echo. And if our opponent's for some reason playing a weird build with Knight's Whisper, Knight's Whisper would kill me here. Alright, so they've exiled a whole bunch of cards. They have Flusterstorm in their deck. One Force, Two Force, Three Force. Four Force of Will. They have one Diamond in Exile, which tells me that they're building a past the turn pile. We know that they have Edge of Autumn Personal Tutor, so they could just put a Force of Negation on top. And then cycle into that with Edge of Autumn as well. One Force of Negation. Two force negation. So it is possible that there's a force of negation in their pile. All right. Five cards have been stacked. Well, according to the log, according to uh, the actual moto screen, it's only been three. Unless they're rearranging. Okay. My dad. They're cycling the edge now, so the answer should be yes. All right, so... I don't know. So I can bald in the Wish Claw now, so if I draw, like, another Lion's Eye Diamond, I believe it's a win. Draw. Another Claw. Okay. Um, hmm. So things just got interesting. So we can play this Wish Claw. 
Oh, and our opponent has conceded the game. We're two and two over Doomsday. Wasn't expecting that. Um, I'll take it though. So we are two and two. One round left to go. Stick around. We've had a lot of tough matchups today. This has not been an easy league. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it so far. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, the fifth and final round. Let's see if we can get a win here. Uh, this is a turn one echo. Yeah, let's keep it. When it takes a mulligan to six. Lotus petal. Lotus petal. A burning wish on the stack. Ooh, that looks like an F6. Echo of Aeons. Lines of Diamond. Flashback Echo. Uh, that's awkward. So I think here I'm supposed to thought seize them. What is this? Hardened scales. Pretty sweet. So hmm. Do I take the Mox Opal because then they can't accelerate or Yeah, I think it's Opal. Okay, so we need to draw like an Entomb or something else here. Once upon a time. Ancient Tomb, okay. Pretty good draw. Here's the Hardened Scales. Draw. Yikes. Okay, have to pass the turn. So they can play Ancient Tomb into Patchwork Automaton and then Arcbound Worker this turn. Ancient Tomb, and there's the Automaton, and then the Arcbound Worker. Alright, deck. Our clock is running out. I need a good draw here. There we go. So now I can use the main deck echo. Alright. Try this again. Spin that wheel. Uh, I don't have any main deck blue cards, so I should just use all blue here. Ah, oh, you're killing me, Smalls. What is this crap? Straight garbage. Pass the turn. There's Saga. Different Saga because we gave them a brand new hand. They could just be representing lethal this turn with the Patchwork Automaton and Hardened Scales. Yep. I think I'm dead. Still in library. I'm just going to take 11. Hope to rip a good draw here. 7. Burning Wish. So I don't have a Echo anymore. And we don't have enough mana for Peer. Or do we? We do have enough mana for Peer. This is going to be sweet. Okay, so... I can't believe that this is actually going to work like this. Burning Wish, let's sacrifice for Black. Use Goblin Welder. Swap the Diamond. Okay. Sacrifice this for black, and now we get to peer into the abyss. Wow, that was sweet. I'm kind of surprised that I found that. Uh, I'm not that smart. I, like, I, I wouldn't put it past me to miss that. All right, so that was sweet. Stole a win here, and I'm going to use the term stole because I feel like I didn't deserve to win this one. Okay. Let's add a red, and then we can play another opal. Chrome Mox. Imprint there. Have this for mana. And then, we're, do we have a Burning Wish in here? We do not have a Burning Wish. Um, that's a little awkward. So, I can play a Wish Claw. Uh, yeah, I can Wish Claw Burning Wish Tendrils. Okay, so activate here. Grab that wish. Yes. 
and the chicken tendies order up okay so that was game number one over hardened scales affinity um we probably don't want this defense grid so let's get rid of that i am interested in both copies of chain of vapor here i think we could probably board out a thought seeds let's try this out okay the possible last game of this league where we've opened up a pretty solid hand against hardened scales a deck that doesn't have interaction so i'm going to keep this a lion's eye diamond off the top would mean another peer into the abyss um there's hardened scales come on deck right now we have guaranteed turn one echo draw welder so now we could have turn two um Blossom citadel so i think i'm going to just take that here play the welder and pass the turn actually we have guaranteed turn to peer which is probably better three mana cannonist that's no fun we do have two chain of vapors i can burning wish for grape shot here I think that's probably the place just to go get grape shot. Okay, so Burning Wish will go get grape shot. Pass the turn. You might be wondering, like, Bryant, your opponent has a Savannah, why didn't you get Massacre? I need this Goblin Welder in play. We need to be able to weld in Citadel with the Entomb. Plus, for some reason, if this gets a plus one, plus one counter, we can theoretically. Okay, well, no, I think we're not going to be able to kill the Canonist any longer. That's a bummer. Okay, so it didn't matter what we did. I think we're, I guess I could draw the Chain of Vapor. All right, so I won't concede because theoretically we have the out of drawing chain. Draw. Another Entomb. I'm going to thought seize them for information, but I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. Okay. Let's go to the next one. I wasn't sure if our opponent would have dedicated hate like Canonist, but maybe I should have known better and just forced the turn one echo. I'm just going to resubmit. All right, the actual final game of this league. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, this hand's a little sketchy. But I guess we can guarantee turn on the opals. Let's try it. Synthesizer Metal Craft. We have the Chain of Vapor for their hate piece. I think that this is fine. I'm going to take a mulligan to six. All right, turn one synthesizer. Let's synth it up. Ah, uh, I can't cast that. Pass the turn. I was, you know, really hoping for a lotus petal or something there. Uh, in, in order for our hand to work, we have to play out the artifacts early. So it's not the end of the world that we ended up losing. In a... All right. And they put endurance to hand. Ending the way my opal. Not very nice. Let's play the other synthesizer here. Burning Wish. I can play that. So. Grab the Volk. I'm two mana away from Peer into the Abyss right now. But I could always bounce these and get cards off them with the Chain of Vapor, which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to get the Peer. Gotta believe. There's a Saga, okay. And there's Canonist. Draw. Looting. Hmm. So... I'd have to be pretty lucky to win here, I think. I'm just going to pass the turn. Alright, Saga goes up to two. That's a bummer. Um, 
Yeah, I have to let that go. Okay. I'm getting bit in the butt for selecting peer really badly. Draw. All right, I'm gonna looting. I think I'm probably off peer at this point. I'm just so far away from ever being able to cast that. But maybe I should keep it. No, nah, I'm going to get rid of the peer. All right. Like, I just don't think I'm going to be like, our deck doesn't even have right of flame in it. And in order for the peer line to be successful, I was going to have to be able to do Mox Hopeful tricks. So I think I just need to move on. So I would expect that Saga gets some sort of graveyard hate here. It looks like they're not making a construct. Okay. Why did they want another opal? Ravenger. Okay, we know that they still have endurance. So maybe they're getting the opal to hold up endurance. Not sure. Okay, draw. That was a good one. All right, so black, red. Chain of Vapor targeting our Synthesizer. Sacrifice the land. Target Synthesizer. Sacrifice the land and then bounce the Cannonist. Okay, Dark Ritual. I don't think I want to burn the red mana to play Synthesizer here because it makes it so that if I draw into... Burning Wish, I can't cast it, which I think is a pretty big detriment. All right, Sacrifice the Diamond. So the question is, do I leave a blue open? We would have two Chain of Vapor in the deck, but it stops me from going like Wishclaw into Tendrils or drawing Citadel, so I think we just use all three blue. And the opponent could hard cast Endurance here if they so choose. Uh, I don't know if this is a win. Lotus Petal. This is 4 mana, 6 mana, 7 mana, 8 mana. I believe that's one short of Tendrils. Because you need 9 to Tendrils. I believe you also need 9 to go Burning Wish into... Uh, or, well, Wish Claw into Citadel. So six? No, we have nine. I just can't count. Counting's overrated. Ignore me. Counting is so difficult. Let's grab that Burning Wish. Cast it. Get that Tendrils of Agony. Play Chromox for Storm. And our opponent is conceded. Wooch, wooch. We got the three, two. All right, so let's look at the deck list one more time. Garrett, I don't know if I have any real suggestions, if I'm being honest. Like, the deck, it's fine. It is what it is. Like, this deck knows what it is. Like, it's a fun brew that uses Velocity Citadel. Um, we really struggled against the Narset blue decks, but honestly, I'm not sure if there's a real fix for that, aside from, like, slowly becoming more and more like the Epic Storm where you have Carpet of Flowers and Abrupt Decays and a bunch of stuff like that that don't play with your Goblin Welder plant. So I don't want to suggest that to you. Your deck exists in its own space. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. Thank you for submitting it as a donation deck. And thank you to everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. A lot of uh, Blossom Citadel Welder shenanigans occurred, and that was a blast. So cheers, everyone. Have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.